It's not your fault. See, abuse comes in many forms. Some people abuse your, your trust, your kindness, your loyalty, your heart. Sometimes we can't see the abuse when it's right in our face because we think, oh, it can't happen to me. Abuse can happen to anyone. It's so easy to blame yourself and make excuses for other people. But please understand, it's not you. But abuse happens everywhere, every day. It doesn't matter your education, skin color, gender. Abuse can happen to anyone. And you know what else? It's not your fault. Even though they make it seem like it's you, even though they may point fingers at you, but they never take responsibility for their own actions. This is another trick of an abuser. They invalidate your feelings. They treat you like you're stupid. They play mind games. They manipulate you. They, they gaslight you. They make you question your own, your own memory and sanity. This is not love. Love and fear don't go hand in hand. If you have to walk on eggshells, that's not love. If they want you to feel sorry for them all the time, that's not love. If you can't be yourself around them, that's not love. I know it can be so hard to get out of this toxic environment, but you have to look within and find the courage to stand up, the courage to walk away from somebody that is no longer serving you. When you summon the courage to stop serving someone who is not serving you, when you stop being loyal to somebody who's not being loyal to you, if you lose them, that is not a loss, that's a gain. You are not a victim, you are a survivor. I know it's hard to leave, but I want to tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. See, once upon a time, there was a man. And this man, he was visiting his friend's house. He hadn't seen this friend for years, so he was happy to reconnect. As his friend was giving him the house tour, he heard a sound, something crying. So he looked around, and he noticed his friend's dog was crying in the corner. He asked his friend, is your dog okay? The friend said, yeah, he's fine. Well, why is he whimpering like that? Oh, he's just laying on a nail. Well, why doesn't he get up from that spot and take the pain away? And the friend said, because it's not hurting him bad enough yet. You see, sometimes in our lives, we can be in a spot that is causing us pain, but we don't get up and take the pain away because it's not hurting us bad enough yet. How bad does it have to get before you walk away from what's hurting you? I know they may not be a bad person themselves. They're probably just hurt. And yeah, we can be compassionate for them, but we can't stay with them. Yeah, they had a bad upbringing, this or that, but it's not your job to fix them. It's a full-time job to fix yourself. Plus, you can't fix them. All you're doing is giving them more permission to abuse you. You have so much to offer this world. So much courage, so much beauty, so much strength. It's not your fault, but it is your responsibility to move on and get up from that spot that's hurting you. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. See, abuse can happen to anyone at any time, and you never know who a video like this can help. Peace.